So guess what? Without further ado, your next mayor of the village of Dalton received this king, Jason Hales! So I want to thank everybody, uh, especially Dr. Nikita and Nietzsche, for just that riveting introduction. And you come up behind all these great speakers, which makes it even more uh, intimidating. But we're not intimidated today. We got the spirit, the spirit of, of champions. So when we first came to do this they, uh, about a week ago, we talked about it. And they said, well, you're going to be mayor. You got to have a great speech. I wrote, wrote a great speech. I really got to write but I'm going to ask if uh, a little bit of permission here, because I want to go a little bit off. So I want to use this as an outline. You may see me kind of jumping back and forth, but um, the spirit hit me saying that this is also an opportunity for me just to give um, an introduction to those of, of me to those that don't know me, reintroduction to those that, have it, ha that do. I'm not a natural public speaker, so this is a new platform and new for me. I'm also, I've had the opportunity for the last seven years to serve as a village trustee. I'm also not a politician. I got into this as a public servant. I'm here to serve the people of the great village of Dalton. <laughs> Having said that, um, I'm J I am Jason House, the senior trustee, mayor pro term here for the village of Dalton. Together to, with my colleagues on the board, we have been steadfast in our efforts to stop the gross mismanagement and abuse of power that people have seen in the village today. So having said that, we've got many things that have been credibly reported in the news that it's just time to stop. As my brother Kevin Bowen says, we have to change the narrative around Dalton, and that begins today. I have to take a moment to pause and thank my colleagues on the board. We've become family. We are family. And without them, this does not happen. So I want to take a moment to give a great thanks to trustee Tammy Brown, staying over there. <laughs> trustee Brittany Norwood. <laughs> trustee Kiana Belcher. <laughs> my brother, former trustee Edward Steve. And this amazing woman, the clerk, the village clerk, Allison Key. So we also have to stop and think, and I know many people have done that, the owner of this establishment, free indeed, Dr. Nicole Scott. We want to make sure that we support this. We will turn this place around and get this moving forward. Also, DQ's Barbecue. I know that everybody, I'm, I'm actually going to speed up in a moment because I know everybody's uh, hungry for that food. We got some ribs. We got chicken. <laughs> so we want to make sure everybody's stomach is, is well fed today. So ladies and gentlemen, I know we've all seen the troubling events that have come through the village of Dalton recently. We got grand jury subpoenas. We got grand juries convened. Subpoenas coming out with investigations into the activities of the mayor. Gross mismanagement of money, FBI's, the FBI out here interviewing employees, business owners, and vendors. We've seen all kinds of spending, countless spending on Vegas trips, first class flights, luxury hotels, and fine dining all on the tax. Legal fields are skyrocketing, and year after year, we got multi million dollar deficits that we have to face and cure. I'm sure we know it doesn't have to be this way. But with every challenging time in our, in our village's history, we also see great hope and opportunity for what's next. And what's next is going to come with a powerful and decisive vision for what Dalton's future. We're not going to have a vision that's em em embroiled with subtraction or division. It's going to be one that, has, that, that does inclusion, addition and, uh, addition and multiplication. We're going to bring everybody together, compromise, and work with one another. We're going to have a vision that operates with transparency, openness. Open the doors to the Village Hall of Dalton. Yes. Taxpayers right now can't even walk in their own building. Yes. We're going to respect the viewpoints of differing of people, and we're going to sit down in a manner that they don't feel threatened. Yes. 
We're going to have a vision that's not based on self-promotion or political ambiguity. It's going to be a vision that's around unity for everybody in our town. It's going to be the unity with our park district, unity with the school board, unity with the library boards. We cannot forget our business community. What about our churches? We got to make sure all are included in this vision, and it can happen. It will happen. <laughs> so today, I'm here to proudly announce my candidacy for mayor of Dalton in February of 2025. Our team together, I'm, I'm pleased that I'm, I have the opportunity to run with incumbent trustee Brittany Norwood, incumbent trustee Kiana Belcher, spinning the block is what I heard, yeah. with, for, with uh, former trustee Edward Steve and clerk Allison Key. Yeah. Together we make a team yeah. and we make that mighty fist that's going to strike the blow to bring us back. We have a couple of points that we're going to emphasize throughout our campaign. Uh, we want to talk about ethics reform. We want to restore the balances of checks and power, uh, che the checks and balances that this government was built on. We want to make sure that the people in our community no longer fear the mayor's office and operate in that light. It's an open door policy. We're going to have reforms around public safety, working with our officers to make sure that we can once again, come hand in hand, become connected to our community stakeholders and, and get the police back on the streets where they belong and not following around the mayor with a security detail. We are going to have balanced budgets and those balanced budgets are going to account for all of the mismanagement we've seen over the last years. We're going to bring our audits current and all, it, we're, we're no more fancy flights, no more first class trips. No more security detail. We're going to save this town a million dollars a year with one fatal swoop. All of our financials will be posted transparently on the village's website and made accessible for anybody that wants to see them. Fourthly, we have to come to our economic development, and we will make sure that we're able to bring, to develop the retail and industrial base in Dalton. We will be promoting those who, get, who, get, who do sales tax initiatives, and that sales tax can come to the village of Dalton, so that way we don't have to press and keep on trying to raise taxes when we have a thriving business community. We're tired of seeing businesses shut down. We got, we have, we've got way more businesses shut down. I don't know if we've even opened a business yet in this, in this, in this, in this administration. At least 10 businesses closed, can't get their business license. They got to fight for that. No more. It's time out for that. Uh, so in conclusion, I think the most important thing that I want to stress and reemphasize is we have the right team. We have a winning team. Our team will be changing the narrative around the village of Dalton, and we will be restoring order, decency, and dignity to this community. So with that, I want to close and say thanks, everybody, for coming out. I have to say God bless them, God, to the firefighters who came, so we want to thank you for your engagement. I did miss a couple of acknowledgments. So I, I, I want to also, I saw a couple of former trustees. I want to give them their praise because they've been supportive and they are some of the pillars that have helped us. I saw former trustee Robert Pearson. Where's former trustee Pearson? Yeah. Saw former trustee Dwayne Muhammad. Is he still with us? Yeah. Thank you. I saw Thornton Township trustee leading the charge on that side, Chris Gonzalez. See if I missed any other elected officials. Ah, uh, yes, and we have, we talked about our partnerships. Uh, we, we talked about some of our partnerships. We have the president of our library board, Louise Copeland, here with us. Over the many years that, uh, over the many years, well, over the three years that we've been fighting, it's been taken, and I hate that we've been fighting, but it, it, it wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do. The only thing that's been consistent in terms of messaging and a way for people to express themselves have been tea with the trustees, and that would not be possible without some of my partners at the Park District. I see Commissioner Sandra Wells is present. Where's Commissioner Wells? I got uh, Commissioner Willis Harris present here with us. I'm going to put him on the spot because this is my brother. I see we, we look alike, and whenever something goes wrong, I say my name is Willis Harris. 
<laughs> he does it to me, so we just try to see who can get each other the most. Um, have to give a, a complete, this podium came last minute because, because of kind of miscommunication and things, and I picked up the phone and called the president of the Park District Board, and in no time, with a snap of his fingers, we got to hear President Cleo Jones. So having said that, we're going to have these partnerships. We will continue. We will grow. We will be bigger and better. And I'm just asking everybody to support us with a clean house, Dalton 2025. Yeah.